Hello, this video will be on getting notifications for comments and replies to your comment. So we're going to go over adding comments and replies, adding notifications, and the users viewing these notifications and marking them as read. Let's have a look. First, create new database entries. So we have comments. We'll call them Z comments. Each comment will have a text. And then also each comment will have a list of replies. So we also need to create a replies table. Call it Z replies. Each reply has a text and it has a comment associated with it. Z for Z comment. And then each comment has a list of replies associated with it. And then also a list of users involved. So these are the people who will all get notifications. Just a list of users. Text, list of users, list of replies. And here we have list of replies. Okay, so to get started, let's make an input so we can add a new comment. Of course, this will look nicer in your relap. Okay, so when we click the add button, we're just going to create a new comment. We have no replies associated yet, but to the list of users involved, we add ourselves. And as a text, we add the input's value. And then we can reset the input. Okay, that's the first part. The next part is actually seeing all the comments. So seeing the comments of one page. For example, so we would again have Z comments and we just search for all Z comments in the database and see the text. Okay. And then I'm just going to put it to one row so we can now, we also want to be able to reply to one comment and see all the replies. So let's have a group. I want to collapse it when hidden and usually hide it. In this group, we have an icon to minimize the group. And here we have an item to opposite it. Group size. And inside this, we have another repeating group showing all the replies of that comment. So this is Z replies. And we want to make this group also type comment. So it should take the comment from the parent group. And this again takes the parent group's comment and shows all the list of replies associated. And then in one of these rows, we show the reply text. Okay, so when we click this button, we just show the replies. When we click this button, we hide the replies. So this shows the replies. We still need a place where we can add replies. So again, we add another input inside this group, importantly. And then we can copy the add button from over here. OK, and so here's the, I guess, tricky workflow. So first of all, we want to create a reply. And the comment should be the parent group's comment because we're already looking at one particular comment, this one, which we're committing. Text should be just the input replies value. And we can reset that. But importantly, now we want to not only change the reply, but also the comment. And we have to add the list of users involved at the current user because this could be a new user. So we have X writing the comment and Y replying and all of them when Z 
add something new should get a notification. So we add a list of users. And also to the list of replies, we add what we just created. And now we need another data type called notifications so people can get notifications. We can add a text if there's different types of notifications. And here we can add a comment associated. Okay, and so what we do here, we don't only create a reply and modify the comment, but we also create a notification. The notification have the, can have the text, uh, new reply has been made to the comment, and then we can have insert dynamic data, fan groups, comments, text, and then maybe we can truncate the text to just 50 characters to not show all of it. And then the comment associated is the parent group's comment. So that's creating the notification, but now we want to have all users who are involved in this list of users involved to receive the notification. So we do make changes to a list of things, and it's a list of users. And which list of users? The comments list of users involved. And they we add a new field underneath user is list of unread notifications which is a list of notifications they will receive this notification we just created and that will be added to their list of unread notifications so they can review it okay and that's already that part now the last part is viewing the notifications. So we have a hidden group with type of notification because we will see notifications and we will see the current users list of unread notifications. And then we can just have a text here showing current sales notifications text. And then maybe a button mark as red. What we can do for mark as red, we can either just delete the entire notification from the database, or we could also make changes to the current user in such a way that we remove from the list of unread notifications this notification. And then we can have a list of red notifications to which we add it, for example. So just some different options. Consider, and that's already it. Now, when we test this, importantly, we want to test it with different users so we see the result. Maybe also we don't, this is an important thing here. I forgot when we have the notification created. Actually, we do, don't want the entire list of people to get a notification because the person who, who wrote this reply should not get a notification. So therefore we do minus item and then we do current user so that the current user does not get a notification. And here we should have list of users involved. Let's have a look here. So we create the notification and to the comments list of users involved, minus item current user, we add the notification we just created. Okay. And now we want to just be that user. So let's first be John. That's this page. This is John's comment. So here we also see John has no notifications yet. Here when we click it, we will see and uh, this is John's reply. Here he should not really get a notification because he's the person writing the reply. Here we also see no notification, that's great. Now we can be Barbara. Okay, we click. First we 
Barbara's thread Barbara's threaded. So hi, this is Barbara's opinion. So now John should get a notification, but not Barbara. So here we see Barbara still has no notification, which is good. And now when we go, let's first go to Bob. So Bob can add to Barbara's thread. Hi, this is Bob's opinion. And you can also add to John's thread. This is Bob's opinion. So again, Bob gets no notifications, but now John should have uh, two different ones from Barbara and Bob. And Barbara should have one notification from Bob. Let's have a look here. Plus Barbara should have one from Bob. Uh, and of course, she also has the other one because so Barbara was involved in this thread with John, right? She wrote this comment or reply and also in the other one. So in both cases, she got a notification. So a new reply has been made to the comment. And then we can click on Marcus Red. And in a similar way, if we get John, I think there should be three, two. Okay, a new reply has been made. This is John's comment and this is John's. Uh, checking yeah that's fine so another thing we could do is we could also show the creator of the notification because whenever someone clicks add they will actually automatically be the creator of this notification created so therefore we can also buy Then it can be current sales notifications, creators, name. So then it will say a new reply has been made, but they have no name currently saved in the database. So maybe we have a username. We have to quickly add some names. Barbara. Here we see name is empty, so we just add a name, Barbara. To Bob, we add a name called Bob. So always when data is empty, just have a look at your database. It just might be an empty field. And here, comment by Barbara. So this is great because we know who the notification was done by, and we see it and we can mark it as red. Okay, hope this video helped. And for short tips on Bubble and Co, check tipless.com. Cheers.